Hello everybody, and today we're going to look at creating a pseudocode based off of our previous example where we just said hello world, but today we want to make it a little more personalized, getting a person's name and saying hello to them. So let's go ahead and get started so we can see how we're going to incorporate variables and putting values together inside of our pseudocode. Now I've got over here our first start, which was the hello world, and we're going to kind of keep that in mind as we work through this project. So I'm going to come up here and just hit the enter key a couple times so I have a blank space to write. Now, if you don't have this already, that's okay. You'll see when to add it in just a minute. What I need to do is I need to declare a variable, and a variable is something that's going to hold some information for me to use later on. Now, sometimes we'll see something simple like declare and then our variable name. In this case, we'll call it name. Other places, you'll see it they prefer define. Sometimes you'll see as define string. And this way we know what type of data we're going to put in there. Now I like to keep it simple. I like define. I like declare. I think define is a little bit easier for me to use. So I'm going to use that here. Next I need the value. So I'm going to say name equals input. What is your name? Now, what this is doing is, is we're prompting the user and we're going to take whatever value they give us and put it into that name variable. Okay, so I've said I'm going to get an input. I said I got a prompt. And this prompt is just designed to be helpful for the end user. The more help I can give to the end user to get it right, the less chances we're going to have mistakes later on. Now, is this the best way of doing it? Maybe yes, maybe no. Remember, pseudocode is all about being flexible enough to use and easy enough for other people to read it. So if I was to give this to someone else, could they read it? If the answer is yes, then it's good enough. Keep that in mind always. All right, let's get back to this. We have defining our name. Then we have a name where we get the input. What is your name? Now we want to modify this print statement. So I'm going to say hello. I'm going to take out this world. I'm going to leave a space because when I add something to it, and you have that space in there, was it kind of jams all up together? That's no good. I'm going to say hello. And then I'm typically just going to use a plus symbol. Plus means to add, whether I'm adding strings or I'm adding numbers. And some languages will use a different symbol. And if so, you know you're going to use that language. Maybe you want to use that symbol here. But for simplicity's sake, if I hand this to a non programmer, everyone knows what a plus symbol means. So when I say hello plus, name, everyone goes, oh, I bet you're going to say hello, and then whatever name they put in there. And as I step through this and kind of play computer, if you would, to verify that, hey, is this working the way it's supposed to, that's what I'm going to read, that's what I'm going to see, that's what I'm going to assume is correct. So that's what we're looking for, okay? We've got some values in there that work, and that's all we have to do to do something so simple as saying hello, and then personalize it to the person's name. Want to see more? Well, let's take a look at how we're going to do some input of names in our next video that you can take a look at coming up.